Well, thank you everyone for joining us this morning to recognize the Amazon Catalyst Competition awardees for the city of Marysville. I'm Diane Kamianka, the Executive Director of the Northwest Innovation Resource Center. We are very privileged to have helped entrepreneurs for over the last decade, uh, those entrepreneurs being located in Northwest Washington. The competition is one that we were very pleased to sponsor because it gives us an opportunity of really showcasing innovators from our region. Uh, as you know, Amazon is a strong supporter of innovation and they developed the Amazon Catalyst Competition to provide opportunity for innovators to not only showcase their idea, but to also be rewarded for those ideas, as you'll hear later this morning. Uh, this year, we've provided the opportunity for residents of eight cities of Northwest uh, Washington to submit their ideas. To us, it's a great way to add to the strength of our region and encourage more entrepreneurs to uh, follow their ideas and their dreams and step up and, and um, pursue the spirit of innovation, which we know is rampant in our region. The Northwest Innovation Resource Center, as I said, helps entrepreneurs in Northwest Washington and we have been really impressed with the variety of industry in the five counties that we service and support. Uh, it offers an opportunity for a wide range of individuals with ideas and skills and talents, uh, so they're not limited to uh, a, a specific industry or subject matter to pursue with their ideas. Uh, individuals from manufacturing to agriculture to uh, new technologies and space are all finding ways of getting help and moving forward with their ideas. So we think that makes for a really rich and resilient economy. The more ideas we have, the better it is as we start focusing on building and in, in fact influencing the future that we want it to be. We've been really pleased to work with the leaders from those eight cities and their staffs to, uh, to see how they all work together and collaborate, understanding and appreciating the fact that working together, we can build a stronger, more resilient economy in the Northwest. And that's come through with this competition uh, with great clarity as all of the mayors and their staff have been quite uh, positive about supporting entrepreneurs and innovators from other areas, not just those in their own city. I find that quite refreshing and encouraging. And we've been very appreciative of the staff uh, helping us get the word out for all of, about the competition to all of the areas. Uh, as you all know, each of the eight cities picked a specific theme for their competition. And the city of Marysville chose streamlining manufacturing as its theme. Uh, the recently designated Cascadia Industrial Center establishes the opportunity for supporting businesses that utilize new technologies in manufacturing and helps tomorrow's manufacturers be much more competitive in this global economy. And we're pleased this morning that Mayor John Nearing from Marysville is here to recognize the awardees in the theme of manufacturing. Uh, Mayor Nearing has been a supporter of entrepreneurs and small businesses for quite a while, and he's been very involved in both the county and the state efforts to provide opportunities as we engage in our economic recovery. So thank you, Mayor Nearing, for being here today and for recognizing the winners of the Marysville competition. Mayor Nearing. Well, thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. And I appreciate the work of Northwest Innovation Resource Center in working with Amazon uh, to bring this catalyst competition to Marysville and other communities here in Northwest Washington. It really seems to me, you know, you mentioned the Cascade Industrial Center, but it really seems to me that the timing for this competition with that and other things, uh, you know, and asking for innovative ideas about how to streamline manufacturing and uh, how to improve business processes really couldn't have been better. Um, over the past few years, we've seen real technological advances in industrial, 
and manufacturing processes. It's really exciting, I think, to see uh, innovations that go from visions um, to actual industry applications, which is something that we're seeing more and more of. One such example is carbon fiber 3D printing, uh, which can produce high quality carbon, carbon fiber parts at, I think, 50 times faster and 20 times less costly than traditional aluminum parts. Uh, that's just one example. As you know, and as was mentioned uh, by Dan, the city of Marysville for years has been investing in and planning uh, an infrastructure to welcome the new manufacturing and smart technology businesses to our Cascade Industrial Center, which is uh, really growing both with the infrastructure we've been able to bring and with new business. <clears throat> Similarly, Amazon's investment in this catalyst competition is welcoming innovative ideas that could help improve productivity for businesses who locate right here in Marysville and all throughout our region. So I'm really excited and, and I'm really honored actually too, to be able to come and announce the winners of the Marysville competition and to hear more about their specific proposals. So with that, our um, second place winner is John Heunfeld, Heunfeld, and I hope I pronounced that right, John. And uh, he envisions a silent low wind urban windmill that runs more quietly and operates with lower wind speeds. So excited to hear about that from John. And uh, congratulations to you and it's an honor to uh, meet you here. And the first place winner in the Marysville competition is Justin Garcia. And Justin envisions a mobile concrete 3D printer that uniformly adds liquefied matter on top of solids. So uh, that should be very interesting to hear about as well. Congratulations to you, Justin. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing both of you, I believe, uh, coming up here right now. <laughs> thank you, Mayor, for the introduction. Um, I would like to say thank you also to the Northwest Innovation Resource Center for their support during this competition and also for Amazon for allowing this competition to take place. Uh, like you said, my project is aiming to create a mobile printer using parts that are readily available and are um, base material is going to be concrete. Um, the idea behind that is it's pretty durable and it's a lot easier to get a bag of concrete into a disaster area than it is a few sheets of plywood and other traditional forms of building methods. Um, the funds from this Catalyst event will be used for generating the first prototype and also go into the mechanical engineering side of things to advance this past the prototype stage and hopefully get it into an actual product that can be marketed. Um, to help achieve this, I brought on some really good talent, a mechanical engineer who is gonna be leading uh, the design portion of this project. And um, she's also gonna be helping with the business side of it that we're gonna create uh, from this event. Um, we look forward to working with Northwest IRC um, simply because they do seem to have the avenues that can help propel us into the next stage of where we want to get. Um, this type of innovation is truly um, an asset to the community because it is something that everybody can use and hopefully it's something that is readily available to the mass population. So thank you, Mayor. Hi, I'm John Hinefeld, and um, my project is to create a, uh, a silent or very low noise, um, wildlife safe um, windmill for um, urban and small business use that could generate power locally. Um, I use two counter rotating uh, wind turbines that are geared together and they interlock kind of like a, an egg beater. And, um, the blades are designed more after the shape of a sailboat sail than a uh, airplane airfoil. So the sailboat sail can um, get a lot more you know, force out of the low wind. So um, that was the idea behind it. And um, yeah, I wanna thank Amazon for hosting the competition and the Northwest Innovation Resource Center and the city of Marysville for, uh, for doing this. Um, I was able to create my uh, prototype using a lot of 3D printing. I had two uh, 3D printers going for about a month straight um, to produce the new um, the blades. Uh, it's got 3D printed universal joints. Um, and with the, uh, with the award money, I'll probably get an actual um, 
windmill generator and charging system to mount on it so I can actually see what kind of power it can create. Uh, right now it's just got a bicycle generator that lights up a light just for demonstration. Um, and I'll probably also maybe uh, fake it out and do some testing. Uh, I need to find a place with a good steady wind, maybe with the island or out on the coast or Columbia Gorge or something and, and um, try and optimize the angle of attack and, and find out the best wind speeds uh, for the uh, unit. So I believe uh, Laura has a, uh, a link to a YouTube video um, that I got just recently of the new unit and it, uh, you know, it's turning slow enough that you can actually see how it works, but it's not the best video. I'll hopefully get some more better ones, but um, yes, thanks. And um, that's about it for now then. Hello, my name is HB Siegel and I lead the Amazon Catalyst program at Amazon. One of our leadership principles is thinking big. And we started this program to encourage people like you to do just that, to invent solutions to real world problems and make a positive impact on the world. We wanna to congratulate today's winners for meeting this challenge head on. It is encouraging to see such innovative thinking on important topics in our local community. We hope you will see this award as the beginning and not an end and continue to stay inspired and find ways to turn your idea into reality and keep thinking big. I also wanna thank NWIRC for taking a lead role in sponsoring these competitions and marshalling support from the eight cities represented here today. We're excited to see how you will continue working with today's winners and other big thinkers in your communities and to keep bringing inventive ideas to life. Thank you for all your time, energy and creative thinking and congratulations winners. Uh, yes, thank you. <clears throat> First of all, thank you, Justin and John. Uh, this is fantastic and, and quite interesting to hear about uh, both of your projects. I also wanted to take just a minute to congratulate Marysville resident Carla Bruner, who submitted a winning idea for healthcare to the Amazon Catalyst competition over in Everett. Um, and once again, thank you really to the Northwest Innovation Research Center a valuable regional nonprofit resource that helps entrepreneurs and innovators like this bring their ideas to life, uh, which is critical. And also thank you to Amazon for sponsoring this competition and spurring this creativity that is a hallmark of our Northwest spirit here. So I guess in closing on behalf of the city of Marysville, we look forward to future opportunities for all of us to work together. And Diane, thank you and I'll, I'll uh, send it back to you. Great. Well, we really appreciate you, you making the time this morning with everything that's going on right now to be with us, this mayor. And uh, again, thanks to your staff for all the work they did in helping to get the word out. Uh, we'd really like to thank not only John and Justin, but all the people who participated in all eight cities by submitting their ideas. It was just great and rewarding to see the variety of ideas and the variety of background of individuals. They're not, they're, it's very widespread uh, individuals in, in, in geographies and in backgrounds and in ages. Uh, it was, uh, it would be interesting to try to get all the people in one room and, ha and see the, the diversity of population there. So again, we thank you all very much for, uh, for your help and um, since this was a virtual recognition, we thought it would be valuable to all unmute and perhaps make a little noise so that John and Justin can have some recognition for what they've done. So congratulations, guys. Thank you. Good job.